Welcome back. Just before our weekend started over at the state capitol, the House passed an education bill that supporters are calling historic. The proposal funds and approves a number of policies for Minnesota schools. For some of them, it would require schools have rules around student cell phone use. Also, schools would educate students on mental health from grades four all the way through senior graduation. School boards will have an option to implement a four-day school week. It also protects school newspapers from censorship concerns. The bill passed along a 69-61 vote, but now there's still more work to be done for it to move forward. Before it goes on to that next step, we are joined by one of the sponsors of the bill, Representative Lori Pryor of Minnetonka. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. There is so much packed in <laughs> to this bill. Lots of questions, but one that, you know, we know has been talked about for years. There's a couple of mm -hmm. districts that are doing the four day school week, mm -hmm. but talk about this inclusion and what this could potentially mean. This basically would put sure. it in the hands of each and every school district to decide. Exactly, exactly. And as we get started, I have to give credit to the original author of the bill, um, Dave Baker. Um, and he, he has a school district um, that's interested in following up and, and trying out and thinking about this four day school week. So that was the beginning of the idea is districts that, more districts that wanna try it. We kind of had a moratorium where you know, the school districts that had it, that was it, we weren't adding anymore. But that's changed. That changed in the, what well, we're hoping we can change that as we, as the bill works its way through the process. Um, but it came from Dave Baker. Um, his district wants to investigate it, see if it's gonna work for them. And there's various reasons. I mean, this is kind of something that has been talked about for a long time. There's about mm -hmm. six districts across the state that are exactly. already doing it, and they had to get uh, kind of special um, uh, permission from the Department of Education. But talk about some of the mm -hmm. reasons, because sure. for a lot of us and a lot, a lot of people, oh gosh, that sounds really would rock my world if my kids right. went to a four-day school right. week. Right, and it, it does come to what we've learned um, when schools were virtual and, and kids were at home. It's like school's more than education. School is also care. I mean, it's daycare during the day for parents, and when you don't have that available, you know, that's an issue. Um, but the school districts that this works for, they plan for that. Um, and mostly it's the school districts in rural areas where kids are spending so much time on the bus every week. And you can imagine that if it's five days a week and you're on the bus for an hour and a half, I mean, that's not education and that's not even good care either, um, not good student time. So the districts that are using it have longer school days and then they have to make provisions for that day off. And it turns out districts that have it, they love that day off. Families love the day off, teachers love the day off. Um, it gives it flexibility and um, opportunities for what's available for those those Fridays where you don't have to ride a bus to school. Yeah, another element of it is the, the mental health education mm -hmm. for fourth grade all the way up to, to 12th graders. Talk about what that would entail. Right, so we know that right now school districts are probably doing something about mental health, but we really wanted to make sure that all school districts have this as part of the curriculum. And I, I just wanna say right now, um, one of the key things, you know, when we're talking about mental health is to say 988 so that, um, you know, every student knows that if um, they're in that situation, if they're talking to someone in that situation, they know that there's help. Um, and the 988 is the, is the suicide hotline. And we know right now there's a lot of kids that are struggling and we just wanna make sure that every, every student um, has that information and that education that shows that there's no stigma, these are health concerns, and uh, we want what we want best. What's best for the kids? Yeah. All right. There is so much more mm -hmm. to this bill, so we'll watch and, and follow to see where it goes. Because, like you said, it passed through the house, but there's still uh, several more steps it needs to take. So, Representative right. Lori Pryor, we appreciate it very much. All right. Thank you. Have a good Sunday.